Hello, everyone. Welcome to this practice of Soften, Soothe, Allow, which is a practice from the Mindful Self-Compassion Program that was developed by Kristen Neff and Christopher Germer. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, Here's how it works, and it picks up off of the preliminary practice we did last time. So first, I will explain to you how it works, and then I will walk you through it. And by way of explaining how it works, I'm going to be asking you first to do the practice that you learned last time. So first, I'm going to ask you to bring to mind a difficult emotion, to name it, in a kind, curious, and interested voice, and to find somewhere in your body where you might feel some tightness or tension that could be associated with this emotion. Then we'll begin the practice of soften, soothe, allow, which works like this. I'm going to ask you to picture or imagine the part of your body where you thought you were able to feel some tension associated with the emotion. And once your imagination is there, I'd like you to simply repeat silently the word soften about three or four times. That's all you need to do. You need to keep your attention there. It doesn't work if your imagination is in Tahiti or out getting pizza. So you want to have your your imagination picturing the part of your body that felt some tightness associated with the emotion. And while your imagination is there, repeat the word soften three or four times silently. After you've done that, I'm going to ask you to drop the word soften and move to the word soothe, S-O-O-T-H-E. So you'll again be silently repeating the word soothe while you're imagining that part of your body. And you'll go soothe, soothe. You may also, if you wish, take the palms of your hands and place them over the part of your body where you feel the tightness. So, for example, if I felt it in my chest, I'd put my hands here. And that's what I'll ask you to do if you like. You don't have to. And you'll repeat the word silently three or four times. After you've done that, you can allow the, uh, rather release the word soothe. You may put your hands down if you wish. don't have to, but you may. And then I'm going to ask you to switch to the third word. This will be the last word. And it's the word allow. And you'll be repeating that three or four times silently while you continue to imagine the part of your body that felt the tension associated with the emotion. Now you may be wondering, why would I say allow? Why would I want to allow this emotion that's difficult? I don't want to allow that. But the fact is, you also don't want to get into a fighting, shoving match with it, right? As much as you, and as hard as you wish to push it away, the emotion in turn will hang on even tighter. But if you can relax and come to some ease with it, it will allow the emotion to go its way as a normal emotion does without getting stuck. So that's an important step. Okay, So, Trust that you're ready to begin. So we're going to begin in a moment. But first, first job is recall a time in the last week or two when you experienced a difficult emotion. And by difficult, it could be lots of things. But let's say some flavor of sadness, fear, or anger. See if you can pick a time when you felt some flavor of one of those. And by flavor, what I mean is For example, um, fear could be, I feel nervous. That could be a flavor of fear. Or it could be, I feel anxiety. That's also a flavor of fear, right? Or sadness. It could be, I feel a little unhappy today. Or it could be, I'm feeling deep grief about something. Hmm? Or the word anger could be irritation could be frustration, could be impatience, could be rage, could be fury. So any flavor, it's up to you 
to pick the word that's most accurate in your mind. Okay. So again, uh, let's make this a little easier. Please allow your eyes to gently close or your gaze to drop with a soft, unfocused gaze so you're not distracted. Bring to mind the situation you'd like to use for this practice. And when you bring it to mind, be as detailed as you can. Remember where you were. What did it look like? What did it sound like? Who were you with? What kinds of words were being said? And now, what's the emotion that you're feeling when you remember this? And see if you can name it. Remember how? You're going to name it in a curious, interested, some would say kind voice. Like, oh, this is frustration. Or, oh, this is blank. You, you pick the word. Okay? Once you've done that, I want you to see if you can notice, is there somewhere in my body where I think I might feel a little bit of tension associated with that emotion? If you're not sure, you can do a brief body scan. How do you feel at the top of your head? How do you feel behind your eyes when you think of it? How's your jaw? How about your throat? How about your chest? How about shoulders or shoulder blades? How about your belly? Is there some place that you feel a little tightness that might be associated with the emotion? And please remember, if you feel it three places, pick one. And just pick the one you think is the strongest or that makes the most sense. If you don't feel it anywhere, just choose some place in your body that makes sense to you. Once you've picked your place, then please imagine that part of your body. Imagine your belly. Imagine your chest, your shoulder blades, wherever you like. Just imagine it. While you're imagining it, I'm going to ask you to sustain your attention there. Continue to imagine it. And now, silently, say the word, soften, three or four times. Go ahead. Soften. 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 And now release the word soften. Keep your attention at that part of your body. In other words, your imagination. Continue to imagine that part of your body. And now switch to the word soothe. And if you like, you may take the palm of your hand and place it over that part of your body. And just let it rest there while you repeat silently three or four times the word soothe. 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 Now you can release the word soothe. You may allow your hand to drop back to your lap if you like. Keep your attention and your imagination at that location in your body. And now say the word silently. Allow. 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 Having the confidence that Ultimately, the emotion is going to have to go away. They all do, even the ones we want to keep. Eventually, they move on. So know that you can trust that and just relax and let it be. Allow. And say that three or four times while you're picturing that part of your body. So that's the whole practice. And... What I would suggest is try it out this week. See how it feels to you to notice. You've already had practice with noticing a strong emotion, finding it in your body. Try the soft and soothe allow practice. And you just decide for yourself, is that useful to you? Try it out. But it really is a great way to um, help an emotion to move through us without getting stuck. And that means we get a chance to catch our breath. So it may come back again because we know that emotions come in waves. But in between the waves, I'm all for having a little bit of time out to catch my breath. And I hope that works for you too. So thank you so much for joining me. And um, I wish you well with your practice. <laughs>